Hi and welcome to Cash and Coins. Today I want to discuss the dip in silver and gold prices that recently occurred. And I want to discuss how it correlates with the US dollar and how you can take advantage of this if you trade in gold and silver. And also just for knowledge because as you know best of all that knowledge is power. Alright well let's get into it. Hi and thank you for joining me again here at Cash and Coins. I really do appreciate it. As you know inflation is here. Prices are rising fast. I'm heard, I've heard that inflation is up to 20, 20 to 40 percent in some areas. Now the dollar has moved up in value and that caused gold and silver to drop. There is a correlation and I'm going to share this article and some charts that do kind of explain this for you. And this is especially good for you if you're new to stacking gold and silver and you want to understand it a little bit better. I believe this will really help you. And as I said, everything is going up in cost, but the price of silver and gold have been dropping. Now today it's up a little bit and that's a good thing. Now remember the correlation between the US dollar and the price of gold and silver? All right, well, let's look at the charts. As you see, the dollar goes up and the gold index goes down. And as the dollar index drops, the gold index rises. Now, this is not always the case, and I'll share an article that I found on Yahoo Finance that explains it pretty well. And I will put a link in the description for all these charts and the articles that I share in this video if you want to go look it up on your own. Now let's look at the gold and silver prices. As you see in this chart, as gold goes up, silver follows it for the most part. So gold and silver go up and down together. And as I stated earlier, silver usually follows gold. Now let's get into the article on Yahoo Finance as it explains this pretty well on the correlation of the dollar and gold. It's a, the inverse relationship. And it starts off saying that there's an inverse relationship between the trade weighted US dollar and the price of gold. Trade weighted value shows how the US dollar is gaining or losing purchasing power compared to its trading partners. However, this inverse relationship isn't as precise as it used to be under the gold standard. Even though the gold standard is gone, there's still a psychological tilt towards gold whenever the value of the US dollar decreases. The inverse relationship remains because, and the article goes on and says, a falling dollar increases the value of other countries' currencies. This increases the demand for commodities, including gold. Yes, gold is a commodity. It also increases the prices. When the US dollar starts to lose its value, investors look for alternative investment sources to store value. Gold is an alternative. And as I showed you earlier, silver follows gold. So that's why you see a movement in both gold and silver for the most part. All right, the article continues. However, it is important to understand that it's possible for the US dollar and gold price to increase at the same time. This can occur because of a crisis in some other country or region. This would cause investors to flock for safer assets, the US dollar and gold. The US dollar is also driven by many factors like monetary policy, and inflation in the US versus other countries. It's also driven by economic prospects in the US versus other countries. So investors need to consider all of these factors. As you see there this article really did sum it up well. Gold and the dollar are pretty well tied even though there's not a gold standard but they are tied if you trade in paper gold and silver, you can use this as a guide to when to buy and or sell. Now remember, I'm not a financial advisor. 
So please do your own research. Now, knowing all of this, do I buy the dip? Yes, I do. Because I look at the historical data and see that gold and silver will rise and fall. Silver has hit the $50 range about twice now. And it will most likely do it in the future. Now, I am not a get-rich kind of guy. And I'm one of those that I am holding gold and silver for the long haul. And when it's the right time for me, I might sell. But I do plan to give it to my children too. So we'll see what happens with that. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. And I hope that this helped you understand the fluctuations in the price of gold and silver. And how you can make better decisions by doing research. If you like this video, please hit the like. If not subscribed, please consider it. And to all my viewers and subscribers, thank you so much for watching Cash and Coins. And as I always say, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you on the next video.